Hey guys, it's Winnie and today I have my February favorites to share with you guys. I know I am a little bit late, but I don't typically do monthly favorites. But in the past month, I've been trying out some new things, so I thought I would just go ahead and share it with you guys. So my first favorite is actually a hair tool. And you guys have been asking me lately how I normally do my hair. And I usually have it kind of slightly curled like this. Um, I like it to be kind of wavy almost and kind of natural looking. So this is what I've been using lately and this is just the Con Air instant heat curling iron and I think this is the one and a half inch barrel but I just picked this up this is kind of like an oldie but goodie because this has been around forever and I think this was only about $15 at Target so it's definitely affordable but this is what I've been using to create kind of these big loose um, curls in my hair but when I first got this I thought this barrel might be a little bit too big and it is a little bit big but I do like the way my curls look when I use it. It's just very nice and natural looking. So I did use it today and you can see it just kind of gives it um, a little bit of body, not really a spirally curl at all. And it's just really easy to do. You don't have to be too perfect with it and you still get really nice body and shape to your hair with it. So I definitely recommend this guy if you guys are looking for something really easy to use and very, very affordable. Next thing I have are my two favorite nail polishes that I've been using. And the first one I have is actually a Wet n Wild Mega Last nail polish and this is a new color I think I think I could be wrong. It's in the color Private Screening, which is kind of a blush nude color. And I do have this on my nails right now, and I have to say I really like the formula of this nail polish. I think it dries really quickly, and I think I put only one or two coats on, and it's very opaque. And this is probably one of my favorite nude nail polishes in my collection right now. And these Wet n Wild nail polishes have a really large brush on them, so it makes it really easy to put on. And like I said, one or two coats, and you're pretty much good to go. And then the other nail polish that I've been loving is actually a gift from my swap with Joe from Love Chic Styling and if you guys haven't seen that video I will link it underneath for you guys to check out but she sent over a nail polish that I just I love it's by Misha and it's this really chunky glittery nail polish and I think it's just called crystal nail polish I'm not sure but I think it's gorgeous like it's so shiny and glittery and I love the shape of the bottle it's really really cute I'll put the information for everything I'm talking about in the description description box so you guys can check it out. But this is very similar to the Essie glitter nail polishes like set in stone. And I really like to use this as an accent nail color and that's what I did on my nails today. I actually use this and the Wet n Wild um, private screening nail polish together and they're like meant for each other because I love the combination. I love the colors together. Okay, the next few things I have are going to be makeup products. But first I have the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. So this is supposed to be a concealer, primer, and foundation in one, hence 3-in-1. And I have it in the color Nude Beige, which is perfect for me right now, but I will probably need to move up to the next shade when I get a little bit of color in the summertime. And if you guys haven't heard anything about this foundation yet, I have to say this is probably one of my favorite foundations I've tried thus far from the drugstore. And I'm really Really surprised that it is from CoverGirl. I haven't used a lot of CoverGirl products um, ever really but um, I decided to pick this up because I've heard such great things about it and it honestly is amazing. I've practically used this every day since I've gotten it and it's becoming my holy grail foundation. I just love the way this applies. I think it sets really nicely. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a whole lot of foundation at all. It's almost very silky. I think it stays on my skin throughout the day really nicely. It doesn't make me break out and it controls shine in places where I normally get a little bit oily. So I really really like it. I'm super impressed with it. And on and the days where I want a little bit more extra coverage I have been using the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer in the color Medium Light and this is exactly what it says it's a very heavy duty concealer and I just like to use this under my eye area or any blemishes on my face it is very thick it is blendable but a little bit of this goes a long way and I think this was only about six dollars and I think this will definitely last me for quite a while and on the topic of foundation I've been really liking using my Sigma 
F82 round kabuki brush and this is just a really really dense um, kabuki brush which is nice to blend out your foundation really really flawlessly I think it just does a really good job and I do have the flat top kabuki brush and I love that one as well but it's nice that this one is a little bit more rounded where you can kind of get into the grooves of your face a little bit more and next I have the Maybelline clean express makeup remover this is their ultra gentle waterproof eye makeup remover and this does an amazing job at removing any of my makeup and I don't have to sit there and scrub at my eyes to get my mascara off this is an oil free makeup remover the kind you have to shake up a little bit but it's very similar to my Neutrogena one which I've been using forever but I think this is a little bit more gentle and a little bit more effective in removing all my makeup so I kind of prefer this one over it next thing I have is the Lucas pawpaw ointment and I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong but this is another item that I got from the swap with Joe and I don't know if this is only available in Australia but I'm sure you can probably find it online somewhere. This is a multi-purpose kind of ointment and you can pretty much use it for anything but I have been using this on my lips kind of as a lip balm or a lip treatment and it works amazing. It just keeps my lips really soft and moisturized and it says this ointment is supposed to help relieve and cleanse. It doesn't have much of a scent that I can really smell. If you guys can get your hands on this I highly recommend checking this out. I think this stuff is amazing. Okay, the last makeup item that I have is a lip stick by MAC and it is in the color Shy Girl and it looks like this and if you guys haven't seen my favorite nude lipsticks this was in it. It is just basically a really pretty peachy nude color and I love using this color on a daily basis because it's so easy to just throw on and go and I just think this specific color is a really pretty color on any skin tone and it just looks good on anyone so if you guys are looking for a really gorgeous kind of peachy nude color for every day I would check out Shy Girl by MAC. And and last but not least, this is a random favorite, but this has been my favorite drink, and it is a Tazo Tea. This is the Tazo Rest, and it says this is a lulling blend of rose petals, valerian root, and citrusy herbs. And these are just basically little um, tea bags, and I like to make these actually kind of towards the end of the night. Right before I go to bed, I like to make a cup of tea, and I know you guys are thinking, how can you drink tea right before you go to sleep? But these are actually caffeine free so that's why I really like it and I do think it kind of helps me calm down, wind down, and go to bed. But I've always had kind of a hard time going to sleep and I always stay up much later than I want to so I've been making a cup of tea kind of towards the end of the night to get me ready for bed and this has been kind of helping I think. So, so that's pretty much all my favorites for the month of February and I hope you guys found some things that you guys might want to try out and if you guys have any favorites of the month you want to share with me make sure to leave a comment below and also let me know if you guys want to see more future favorites videos and I hope you guys like and subscribe the video if you haven't and I will see you guys next time. And 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 hello.